seven minutes away from weather and traffic. See you around like pretty felt right now. With forecast. And speaking of driving, some of you might run into a little rain throughout your morning commute, especially if you head out early, and that's because we have a couple of showers moving east across the tri-state area. Most of the rain is pushing into Suffolk County, so some of that rain is heavy as well. So we have this round of rain this morning. That tapers off by midday, and we'll see a second batch later this afternoon. Highs will be much warmer, near 89 degrees. It's also going to be more humid, and that will give us real fill numbers in the mid-90s. Tomorrow, 85, still humid, and we'll see a couple of scattered evening storms. We dry out this weekend, and it's really shaping up to be really nice, especially on Saturday. Breezy and less humid, a high of 86 degrees. We'll see more of the same on Sunday. I'll let you know that drying trend will continue to the start of next week coming up. Katie? Well, Brittany, we've had a busy, busy start here. Let's get you back to Queens and back to the LA. Where we're still seeing some delays building now westbound into Utopia Parkway. Overturned vehicles still in the process of being cleaned up. You see the flashing lights on scene. Grand Central Parkway, the troubles here are eastbound to Jewel Avenue. There's an accident in the process of being cleaned up. Want to let you know, of course, we've seen the cameras. We have heard from Brittany. It's a little wet out there in spots. We do have a little bit of flooding here on the northbound side of the BQE, right at the Brooklyn Bridge. So just give yourself a little extra time this morning as you head out. And if you're heading out and planning on taking the four trains, want to let you know uptown we are seeing delays. That's due to earlier mechanical problems. Alternate side parking rules in effect city.